All right, there's a few things that I wish I knew before I opened my third eye. I will explain them in very clear detail. I will not waste your time because this is really important stuff, okay? By the way, to actually do this, to actually open your third eye, if you haven't got to that stage yet, just check my other channel. I mean, check this channel, go and look at the other videos. So the first thing is that when you open your third eye, masks and illusions will be completely transparent to you. So the mask, when I say mask, I mean like the personality or the image that people project that they want you to think is them, but it's not actually them. It's the illusion. It's like the mask or the person they are pretending to be. Uh, things like that will be transparent to you. You will see right through them. Like somebody who you might have known your whole life will be saying something and you'll look at them and think, that's not true, is it? You know, that's not actually you. Or you'll just, you'll instantly realize, I know why you're saying that. I know why that's happening. And you'll be able to just see things that you didn't notice before. Now, you might think, oh, that's great. That's like a superpower. Yeah, it's good. But you're probably going to lose some friends because when you start realizing how stuff really works, when you start seeing people for who they really are, you might find that some people in your life just do not resonate with who you are, you know, or they might not be the people that you thought they were. And this applies not just to seeing through people's masks, but also seeing through society's illusions. You, when you open your third eye and become more awakened and raise your vibrations and all of this stuff, you're going to notice things in society that just don't really add up. You're going to think, ah, oh, hold on a second. Why are they promoting that idea? Because that leads to this and that's not good, but they're, you know, they're saying they're gonna do this thing, but they're actually doing this thing. And you realize that a lot of ideas, almost everything in modern society is actually a, an inversion. They are doing the opposite of what they're saying they're doing. And you'll find you know, organizations that are promoting peace are actually waging war. And all kinds of inversions like this, you'll see this throughout society now. Well, it's good to know the truth, of course it is, but it will cause a lot of conflict because the people in your life might not and probably won't agree with what you're seeing. So you will see it one way, they will see it the opposite way. <laughs> so you're gonna have a constant like conflict in your mind. You know, do I, do I debate this with my family, for example? Do I uh, share what I really think about this at work? I know it's gonna cause an argument, but this is what I believe now, because I can see the truth. So it's gonna cause a bit of conflict in that way. By the way, we cover stuff like this in our community, The Freedom Tribe, which the link's in the description. We do like live streams, we chop it up, we explain all the stuff we can't talk about here. We really like go into detail, I answer your questions. So yeah, uh, if you wanna dive in deeper with all of this stuff, the link's in the description. All right, so the second thing is that if you're not ready, if you're physically and mentally and spiritually not ready to open your third eye, but you somehow do it anyway, you're gonna, have a few difficulties. There's going to be some things that are not going to be very comfortable for you. Uh, there's going to be things like potentially, you may have heard them be, being called things like ascension symptoms. Ascension symptom really is like a sign, physical sign, that your body might not be completely ready for what's going on with your soul and mind. So you may just need to just adapt a little bit. You might have things like headaches, muscle aches. Um, it could be like tingling. You could start sensing things feeling a little bit uncomfortable. It, there's really a whole range of ascension symptoms. Uh, the problem with symptoms is that, well, yeah, one symptom could be a symptom for a million other things. So it's hard to know whether it's actually an ascension symptom or whether it's something else, but it's highly likely that if you're having them all together, and if it's things like, yeah, like tingling, especially around the forehead area, uh, sensing different energies, you might walk into a room and suddenly just, without any explanation, you might just feel like, I shouldn't be here or you know there's something not quite right here you might pick up on energies from conversations because this is another thing right when uh, people have interactions conversations let's say it leaves an energetic signature in the air around them so if you walk into a room just after somebody has been like uh, bad mouthing someone gossiping arguing whatever you can feel that energy even though they've not even though they've stopped talking about that thing so you might notice stuff like that and it's, it's quite uncomfortable you might be wondering you know uh, why am I feeling uncomfortable? I've just walked into this room or I've just arrived at work. Why am I feeling strange, you know? And you start to like second guess yourself, but really you're just picking up on these energies that you didn't know were there before. The next thing is that when you open your third eye and really start to activate yourself in many ways, you realize that actually this is not the end point. This is actually just the beginning of the journey. So you might become quite trendy lately to talk about like third eye, opening third eye, pineal gland, all this stuff. And a lot of people think that, okay, it's just this, this like binary thing, this on and off switch. I open my third eye and then suddenly I've arrived. Suddenly I'm awakened. They wanna let, they, people wanna label themselves as being awakened. Well, it's not quite that simple. Actually, when you open your third eye, that's really just kind of the beginning of the journey. That's really like the first step. And 
a lot of people think, oh, I just if I can just get to this one place, if I can just you know do this, meditate more, raise my vibration, then I can open my third eye and then I'll be fine. You know, then life is complete and I'm just peaceful and, and joyful all the time. Not really, no. Uh, that's actually the kind of the first step of the journey. And beyond that, you have all kinds of other stuff. There's different paths you need to do, different learnings, journey experiences. It's really just a step in the journey. I mean, I hate, I wish I could give you better news, but in my opinion, that's actually quite an exciting piece of news because the fact that it's the first step in the journey means that you have so much more to explore that you don't know about. So like I said, we, we talk about this stuff all the time in the Freedom Tribe, um, which basically, for those of you who don't know, if you've watched this far, you're probably interested in something I'm saying, and you've also got a better attention span than 90% of people on YouTube. So the average attention span is like two or three minutes, I think. Maybe that's on the high end. Anyway, the Freedom Tribe, basically we talk about how to raise your vibrations, how to manifest things, heal, uh, become the best version of yourself. We really kind of talk about all kinds of different ideas. So if you like what I'm saying, if you resonate with what I say on this channel, you're gonna love the Freedom Tribe because it's basically just like a bigger and better version of this channel. Um, we talk about stuff, we do long live streams, I take your questions, you know, I give guidance and stuff on all kinds of different topics, including how to actually escape the matrix and how to uh, kind of start to build something for yourself, build an income online for yourself based on something you love doing. We talk about how to, you know, proven biohacks. Uh, you, may not, you may not know, I used to uh, have another channel where I would talk about biohacking. And biohacking is a big passion of mine. It basically involves enhancing your body and mind through different methods and ways. So we talk about all kinds of stuff in this in this membership. And uh, yeah, right now you can get in at pretty much the lowest price at the time of recording. If you're getting in, well, anytime in really kind of like around that area, 2023, you have the best price. If not, it's fine, you can still join. Uh, it just might be a little bit more uh, because we're gonna be adding constantly, adding new content to the membership. So yeah, go and check it out. The link's in the description or just go to astralhq.com slash freedom tribe or just freedom. It should redirect to the same thing. All right, and leave a comment, by the way, letting me know, you know, what stage are you on in this journey? Have you opened your third eye yet? Do you feel like you're kind of on the beginning stages or have you already done it? What do you think?